This training will walk you through how to use the Process Maker system. The Process Maker system is available at this URL. The Process Maker system facilitates three workflows. Basic Processing, Value Added Processing, and Item Level Processing. We will examine each of these workflows. The first workflow we will examine is Basic Processing. The first form to be completed in the Basic Processing workflow is the Acquisition Information form. If the accession information for the materials has been entered into the Archivist Toolkit, select Yes and proceed to the next task indicated by Process Maker. Enter Processing Plan. If the accession information has not been entered into the Archivist Toolkit, open the Archivist Toolkit application and enter the accession information. Upon completion of this task, return to Process Maker and complete the form. This will take you to the next task. Enter Processing Plan. Open the Processing Plan form and complete as much of the form as possible. Red asterisks indicate required fields. Submit the completed form to your supervisor. Once the processing plan has been approved, you will physically arrange the collection and enter the appropriate descriptive information into the Archivist Toolkit. Once descriptive information is entered into the Archivist Toolkit, return to Process Maker and complete the Arrangement and Description Confirmation form. This will trigger a series of reviews to ensure that the descriptive information is compliant with departmental standards including Describing Archives, a Content Standard. Once the description has been approved, collection management will pick up the materials and your portion of processing is complete. The next workflow that we will examine is Value Added Processing. The Value Added Processing workflow is initiated by your supervisor or by reference staff. Your supervisor will assign you, via Process Maker, to a Value Added Processing workflow. The first form that you will complete is the Processing Plan form. Your completed processing plan will be reviewed by your supervisor, and once they approve the plan, it will guide your arrangement activities. Once your supervisor has approved the processing plan, you will then complete the Materials Request form. Be sure to request only the components of the collection that will be receiving value-added processing. Collection Management will bring you the materials that you will work with and you will physically arrange them according to the approved processing plan. You will then describe the arrangement in the Archivist Toolkit. Once descriptive information is entered into the Archivist Toolkit, return to Process Maker and complete the Arrangement and Description Confirmation form. This will trigger a series of reviews to ensure that the descriptive information is compliant with departmental standards including Describing Archives, a Content Standard. Once the description has been approved, Collection Management will pick up the materials and your portion of processing is complete. The final workflow we will examine is the Item Level Processing workflow. This workflow follows the same procedures as the Value Added Processing workflow with one exception. Item Level Processing is reviewed by the Board of Curators and you will not be allowed to begin the workflow until the Board of Curators approval has been received. Board of Curators review is triggered when you indicate that materials will be item level processed in the process plan. If the Board of Curators approves item level processing, then the workflow proceeds as outlined in Value Added Processing. If you have any questions, please consult your curator.